Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm Nikki Pratt. I am excited to be doing this video today. So excited. This is a must-see. You must get your Bibles out. Welcome to all my new and current subscribers. Get your Bible out. You must have your Bible. Don't think about coming to this channel unless you have your Bible. Look, so I need to get right into it. For some reason, I forgot to charge my tablet and um, I don't have much battery life so I got to get started but anyway um, I wanted to share with you guys my most recent 444 experience but first for those of you watching and if you are not a subscriber of mine you probably saying 444 so what's with the 444 thing well I can tell you this you're probably saying, well, what does it mean? Keep watching this video and the other videos that I'm going to tell you about, and you would know what it means, okay? Last week, I fasted uh, before World Vision Day. And um, since then, my discernment level has, like, wow, skyrocketed. It went through the roof, okay? So... Um, Anyway, listen up. First, know this. When I went searching for answers, I went to God's Word. Okay, I went by the Word of God. I didn't do any mystical, psychic, divination, sorcery. Um, I, I've seen videos where it says uh, repeating numbers, angel this, leave that alone. Leave it alone that's from the other realm, the other spiritual realm, the demonic realm. Leave it alone, okay? Don't go there. It's witchcraft. All right. So uh, if it didn't pertain to Christ, I didn't have no part of it. I didn't deal with it. I went looking for answers through God's word. Now, just to sum it up for uh, some of you, uh, before I tell you my experience, uh, merely what 444 means and some of the findings, and I've also found some new findings as well, 444, the number 444 equals to Jesus. Yes, Jesus, the word, the name Jesus equals to 444. Well, Nikki, how did you get that number? How did you come up with that? Um, the number six represents man, right? Revelation chapter 13, um, it, it, read it, Revelation chapter 13. Anyway, um, if you take every letter by in six increments, A equals six. B would be 12, and so on and so forth. Okay, every letter, add six, add six. Jesus, J equals 60, E equals 30, S equals 114, the U equals 126, X, I'm sorry, S, 114. Jesus equals to 444. Add it up. Okay? All right. So, um, uh, and that's if you use the number six, representing the number of man. If you see it a lot, like I do, if you see 444 a lot, like I do, know it, Jesus. It also means that you are a watchman. Mm -hmm. You should be warning the masses. You should be warning people. You should be warning of what? Uh, telling them about uh, the return of Christ. Uh, you should be spreading his word. You should be trying to advance God's kingdom, so to speak, okay? Um, you should be fasting and praying, which every Christian should do. But I've learned, it is my conviction, that you also is watching, Okay? So um, you should be talking about Jesus and more about it. And 
uh, spreading the gospel, which is the the uh, commission of uh, every believer. We are to spread the gospel and help make new Christians, okay? So, anyway, the more on it, before I get into details, watch my past two videos. I actually found I have four videos on it, but the last two I did. The first one is titled 444 Mystery Solved, A Must See, A Must See, or A Must See. The second one is titled It's Settled, The Answer to 444. So go back and you would find out everything you need to know about the number 444 and the number 44. Uh, the number four represents what God is doing in the earth. Okay? All right. So, watch this. This is some of the new findings that I just found out. Get a pen and paper and write this down. The very first verse in the Bible has 44 letters. The very first verse, you want to know what that is. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. What did I say about the number four? It represents what God is doing in the earth. That's good. Wow. That's good. Okay. So, the fourth word in the Bible. First, let me back up. The first Verse in the Bible has 44 letters. Did I, did I mention that? In the beginning, God created the heaven and earth. 44 letters. I'll use number 44 seers. Like I, like I am. Okay? The fourth word in the Bible is God. The fourth word in the Bible is God. The 444th, 444th word in the Bible is God. The very last verse in the Bible contains 44 letters. What? Like, really? Did you just hear... Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Did you hear what I said? The very first verse in the Bible has 44 letters. The very last verse in the Bible has 44 letters. God is in the details. Did you see my video yesterday? Now people run around here saying that the devil is in the details. No, he ain't. Can nobody... Put together something like this in his infinite wisdom. This is some this is some powerful stuff right here. Okay, you ain't heard nothing yet. The four thousand four hundred and forty four word in the Bible is God. The word God, watch this, watch this. The word God appears 4,444 times in the Bible. What? That ain't no happenstance. That ain't no coincidence. Satan wish he could put together something like this. Nobody but God. Okay, watch this. Okay, and I, I got this information from, guess what? The Perfect Word Channel. So I'll credit, go to him, and I will link that video to this video. But uh, that's something. I have did some research on this 444, but that, that was something right there. I just had to share it with you. But wait till you find out what my experience was like. 
So turn your Bible to Genesis chapter 15, verse 5. It says, And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven and tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. One chapter over, Genesis chapter 16, verse 10, it reads, And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed exceedingly, that it shall not be numbered for multitude. Right before I did this video, when I found out that my tablet wasn't charged, it was, I looked at the clock, it was 7.44, okay? So I went and read a book. And my tablet charges a little bit. I turn on my tap, my tablet. It was eight forty four. Yeah, eight forty four. You see me do videos. I'm telling you, every time I pick up my phone or look at a clock to see what time it is, it's like I don't know when to look at the time until it's something forty four. So watch this. Turn your Bibles real quickly to the book of Revelation, chapter 4. Uh, and a lot of people was given this verse when they went, you know, to the Lord, asking them, Lord, what is this 444? Why am I seeing it? What does it mean? Revelation, thank you, Holy Spirit. I must mention that. Okay, Revelation chapter 4, verse 1 says, After this I looked. And behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first vo voice, which I heard, was as it were of a trumpet, talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. Now, when I first uh, started doing research and studying about this 444, there are a lot of people saying that the 444, they feel like it represents rapture. I won't go there. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm telling you today, okay? I'm telling you that's what they believe. That's their conviction. That's what they believe, and that's what they're saying. So, but this scripture was also in a video concerning uh, that I'm about to read now. Um, Revelation chapter 3, verse 8. This scripture was given to me by my spiritual mother, uh, Mama Victoria. Um, and it was it's very interesting when somebody else <laughs> has the this, this same scripture in their video concerning 444. And I'll read it to you. It says, uh, Revelation chapter 3, verse 8. It says, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Now, when she gave me this, uh, she's a prophetess too, by the way, and um, when she gave me this, she said, the Lord said, Nikki, keep this by your bed. Now, I read this scripture. In this video, I will link that video to um, concerning this 444. This guy that did the video about this, he, I think he said he was praying to the Lord about the 444. He went in to work, and um, he worked at the post office, I think, and all the mail slots had numbers on them. But the one uh, mailbox that was open had 444 on it. And I think the scripture um, that uh, he had was this revel was uh, Revelation 4 and 1 and Revelation 3 and 8. So that's why I read that, okay? So now, for my 444 experience, I was sitting on my couch and watching the movie watching a movie, and I mean like deep into the movie. And all of a sudden, I felt this burst of um, excitement, like a swelling or uh, that, of excited energy 
that came over me like an awakening or an alertness. I, I don't know how to explain it. I tell you what, it was almost like, you know, if you're around somebody and uh, you forget something, you go, oh, I forgot. You know, it, it was like that. So I'm, I'm deep into this movie, and all of a sudden I was like, and everybody around me was like, what, 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 what? And I heard this voice, small voice, said, it's 444. So I was like, what is it? So I look around the sofa at my microwave over the stove. It was 444. Explain that. Explain that. Crazy, 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 like, what? 444? After that happened, so the number 444 had slapped up with me probably about, for about a week or a week, a little over a week. It will, I'm saying it again repeatedly. And, um, it's picked back up again. Every time I look at my phone, you heard me say earlier in the video, I see 444. So um, I see 444 on my way to work, on my way home, throughout the day. No matter what I do, where I don't go looking for this number, it will find me in the most profound ways. Um, Earlier this year, I had to go file a police report. Uh, the policeman's badge number that took my report was 444. Yeah, how profound is that? And lately, uh, I've been uh, having to make phone calls and um, the uh, dealing with stuff and the numbers that I've been given, like a 1-800-444, like I'm in the process of trying to get another car, and the number I called had 444 in it. Yeah, a profound, right? So uh, last Friday, uh, this past Friday, I woke up at 444 a.m. So Sunday, I was uh, looking for something, and uh, I looked under my bed. There was a small little box. And I brought that box in here to show, show it to you. So I look under my bed, and here's this box. And I'm like, why is this little box up under my bed? I don't like a lot of stuff under my bed, okay? So when I looked at the box, I said, okay, my grandbaby or my daughter probably has had this box. So I reached my little hands over to get the box, right? I look in it, it was empty. And I look at the top of the box. See that? Number 444. Not once, but twice on this box. And of course, the box was empty. And when I saw it, I was like, wait a minute. I remember this box. This box. Last year, back after my surgery, uh, my mama, Victoria, bought me, drove from Dallas, and she brought me a gift. And I remember what gift it was. Watch this now. Those of you who are watching and who believe in the rapture, I know you are eating this up. That will believe that the 444 represents rapture. I'm not knocking you on that. But I'm saying, I bet you're eating this up to know that when I found this box, it was empty. And the gift was not in there. Um, and this gift wasn't here in the house. It was at my house that I shared with my ex-husband. And I was like, wait a minute, where is the gift? So anyway, I had to pick up my little girl. And I found the gift at the house today. Okay? Watch this. The gift in the box originally that was given to me is this cross from my mom, my mama Victoria, right? Do you know that the word cross equals 
444. Yeah, it doesn't. Add it up using the number six. This lights up. This candle lights up. Can you see that? You see it flickering. It's um anyway, you probably can't see it. But anyway, um this was was in this box. It came in this box. It was a gift. It was this cloth. The box has 444 on it. The word cross equals to 444. And when you watch the 444 videos that I'm telling you about, you would see that everything tied to Jesus in this number 44, the number 4, and 444 ties to Jesus. So I've, I've seen a comment, and it really saddened me. Somebody said... Um, the 444 was, um, I can't remember what word it was using, but it was something like harassing them. Like, really? What? No. Well, if it is, all I can tell you, pray for the Lord to take it away. I, I don't know what to tell you on that, but it's not harassing me. I just know that I see it a lot. And the first, when I first started seeing it, you know, the first question I asked myself was, well, is it, that's the word she used, torture, torturing her. And I was like, well, am I burdened by it? Is it torture me? Does it feel evil? Do I feel evil presence? No, I felt no kind of way. I just noticed, discerned that I see this number a lot, and it, it those numbers a lot, and it follows me everywhere I go. And then I learned that I wasn't the only one seeing it, you know. So uh, that's what I had to share with you guys. It's something. The cross, the word cross equals to 444. So, and even in the uh, beginning of this video, I told you about um, how Really? The first, very first verse in the Bible equals the 44 letters. The very last verse. And what does the, what does the scripture say? He is Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. He comes in the volume of the book. He says, search the scriptures for they testify of me. Wow. Yes, they do, Lord. Yes, they do. So if you're one, like I'm, like, like I said before, this for I, you can't, nobody can't tell me otherwise. Like I had somebody to comment when I did my 444 video. Somebody uh, sent me a comment and said, um, I see 444 and I'm atheist. You know what? I ain't going to comment on that, but all I know is Satan likes to mimic everything that Jesus do. Everything. He's the father of lies. He comes as an angel of light and is a lie from the pits of hell. I'm not... Nobody can convince me otherwise. 44 letters, four, the 4,000, I'm sorry, the 444 word in the Bible equals to God. Really? You can't tell me nothing otherwise. Mm -mm. I ain't going to believe it. Nope. Because this ain't no coincidence. But let me say this, and this, thank you, Holy Spirit, once again. For those of you watching, and you're not seeing 44, the number 44 or uh, 444, don't think that something is wrong with you, um, that there's this 444 click and only the ones that see 444 belongs to God. No. Get that out of your head. That's not scripture. Uh, it's not scriptural. It is it's not right. Just take it out. Dismiss it. It's not what that means. Go back and watch the two videos that I told you about. It means 
that you are a watchman. You were chosen. You were ordained. You were predestined for these last days and end times. You were, because, let me tell you something else that I learned. A lot of people that see in 444, they do videos like I do. Mm -hmm. If they don't do videos, they do something pertaining to God's word and uh, spreading the gospel. That's what it means. It means that you're a watchman. You need to be doing something. You need to be uh, outside of the four walls of your church. You need to be spreading his word. It means that you sound the trumpet. It means that you sound the alarm. You tell people, uh, get ready. Christ is coming back. You're a watchman. That's what it means in a nutshell. That's my conviction. Now, hey. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I do have another video that is coming out this week. Ooh. Um, hopefully, hopefully Thursday. Um, I done put out several videos this week. I don't know. I might make it to do this week. Um, I'm going to try. I might not. But anyway, i got to cut this video short. But I love you guys. See you next video. Thanks.